guys this is a really rare treat i just got in it's like a little bit after nine and there's like nobody here the whole thing in the back there's like nobody here this is great maybe i'll find something today oh this is my cortez off of uh yeah off of cortez <laughs> sorry i'm excited off i go here's a cool thing it's a eureka this is, looks like it's from the late 70s early 80s very cool and this one is 40 bucks yes the new the new stuff <laughs> sucks compared to the old stuff the motors the motors in these old guys made in the u.s all right uh too high for me and i got one off i go cool check out this clock it's a slig i'm guessing that's slick winder very nice that's a very nice clock wow for 50 bucks Oof. Oof. let's see if we got in the back with the back ends Ugh. This is, this is really nice. It's not really, you know, it's a mantle clock. Oh, it's got all the stuff and it's actually ticking. Wow, look at that. Wowzer. Very cool. And it's from the clock gallery. Wow. All right, I'm, it's too rich for my blood, but very cool. All right, off I go. You guys, check it out. It's Snoopy and Woodstock painting Easter eggs. That is too damn cool. Wow. That's the little things. <laughs> cool. Off I go. Check this out. It is a bean pot for five bucks. And guess who the maker is? Get you over here. It is McCoy. If you can see it under there. Very cool. McCoy. Although McCoy doesn't sell so hot much anymore. But it is pretty cool. I got enough stuff. <laughs> Off I go. Guys, check this out. It is some uh, corn holder things, a set of six vintage new old stock for two bucks. That is the cool Scooby thing and it's from uh, Hong Kong. Cool and nothing on the back. There ain't no barcode on you. All right. <laughs> I'm not getting it, but it was neat. Off I go. Hey guys, here's a really cool strawberry cookie jar for 10 bucks. Look at this thing. Wow. Very cool, very neat. Let's see what's on the bottom, if anything. Okay. It says, it's always upside down, of course. It says to Aunt Ruth uh, from Fish and Margaret. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. Eh, not really my thing, but neat enough. All right. Oh, the lid came off. Put you back on there. Come on, you. Come on, you. Uh. Oh, this can look around and see if there's any cracks. No, there's not. It broke. All right, I'll have to reaffix that. And boop, off I go. Pick this up. It is a huge cocktail shaker. Look at the size of that thing. Ooh, that's the party to go to. <laughs> For six bucks, wow. Let's see if it's got all the jazz in it. Everything's good, looks good. It's hard working with one hand, but that's pretty cool. I got enough. Actually, I, I like buying, I get the uh, 50s ones. This is brand new. All right, off I go. Guys, check it out. It is another Langa Burger basket for five bucks. Oh, look at that. Wow, see, it's the real deal. As I said, I maybe I'm I'm actually thinking about maybe starting to buy these things. <laughs> they do get some money. All right, neat enough. Well, off I go. Hey guys, I'm at the Treasure Island part of this uh, good w, or GW, and it's a alligator foot for twenty bucks. <laughs> it's a necklace. All right, not for me. <laughs> off I go. Guys, check it out. It is the Rat Pack, and check out that lamp. Oh, over by Frankie. <laughs> wow, that's just too cool. All right, and they want how much? 25 bucks, that's fair. I actually already have one. I love seeing this stuff out. All right, up I go. You guys, check this out. It is Haslam uh, Double Nine Club Dominoes. Really cool. I think it comes from Woolworth is what it looks like. That's really cool for four bucks. Really neat. That's vintage there. Hmm. You know what? I'm, I I might get this thing. I'm thinking about it. Wow. That's really neat. I'm going to look it up and see if I can find anything. All right. 
There we go. Okay, guys, I looked them up, and they're getting like 10 to $15. I mean, I know they're four. Eh, they're kind of cool, but this tape up here in the box, people typically like this stuff in mint condition. So, all right, I'm going to pass. Off I go. Guys, there's a bunch of vintage uh, playing cards. A pinochle deck with some, uh, with the, uh, looks like Egypt, with the <clears throat> camels and the stuff in the background. <clears throat> Delta pinochle and caravan pinochle and the Holland American line. Oh, and look, there's a, some uh, flyers uh, <clears throat> playing cards. Sorry, Mike. I got something stuck in my throat. <clears throat> I gotta get somebody to drink. All right, eh, I'm gonna pass on these, even though they're 50 cents a piece. Eh, sometimes they get money. And eh, I don't need to stack up stuff. I need to sell stuff. <laughs> Off I go. Check it out. It is a, a matcha. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, getting with my throat. Um, bamboo uh, tea whisk thing. I see them out once in a while. They don't really get any money, but it's interesting. <laughs> All right, and how much would you guys want? Uh, 50 cents. <laughs> Neat. Off I go. You guys, check it out. There's some Corningware stands. I, I got a bunch of these. I mean, you can, I think you can get like six bucks a piece. This is a dollar fifty. This little one over here is a dollar fifty. They are cool. And uh, here, there's this, there's a thing, Corningware right there. I got a whole bunch of them. Don't really need them now, but that's pretty cheap. <laughs> All right, off I go. Here's a super snag that I am definitely getting for five bucks. These are they they hold your taco shells to keep them hot, and they're stainless steel. I've seen the I've been I actually looked at these very same ones. I, I'm pretty sure they're going between twenty five and thirty five dollars online for five bucks, and they're stainless and they're thick and they're heavy. They are mine, mine, mine all day long. Very very cool. And there's four of them. Great. Off I go. Hey guys, over here on the side, they get a bunch of their uh, Easter stuff out. Look at those little guys, the little lamb, I'm guessing. <laughs> and some rabbits and some stuffed toys and Easter baskets up there. Ah, I got it. I remember this stuff when I was a kid. Always had an Easter basket <laughs> filled with junk. <laughs> All right. There's more stuff over here. And then there's some uh, Irish stuff. St. Patrick's Day is coming. Where do you see? I got an upcoming video. <laughs> it's really cool. All right, and off I go. Neat. You guys, check it out. It is a stained glass bookend sailboat. Let me get that thing in the, in the picture. If there was another one, I'd get it. Eight bucks. I'd get them. I get two of them for eight. I wouldn't buy them for eight bucks for just one guy. And there's another uh, bookend over here, but it's not the same thing. All right. <laughs> nope. Off I go. You guys check it out it, it is a pool cue holder for 15 bucks God, I, I haven't played pool in years <laughs> eh, i don't need one it's too big too all right off i go you guys check out this deer print and um, i think this thing was from the uh, yeah it's from 78 i remember so many people had these in this guy in their house and they were 15 bucks for it that doesn't seem too bad that is a little piece of history there <laughs> too high for me but eh, I love the memory the memory maker thing off I go you guys out here to check out there's a bunch of uh, blown glass uh, eggs they look like um, Murano glass almost in the Milli Fiori they went six bucks for them eh, I hold them in suspect but they are cute they're very cute I like the uh, colors all right take a picture and off I go